Disclaimer Efforts have been made to not to infringe with any copyright. If so, it may be brought to our notice for its acknowledgement in future editions. No part of this digital content be reproduced, stored or distributed in any or by any means either on paper or electronic media unless authorized. Digital content for candidate with disability. Sector Agriculture and Allied Subsector Agriculture Allied Activity Occupation Beekeeping Reference ID AGR slash Q5301 NSQF Level 4 Unit 2 B Biology and Behavior Unit 2.5 Pollination of Crops Hello friends, welcome to an exciting session on pollination of crops. Topics covered in this video are Number 1. Explain structure of a flower. Number 2. Identify male and female parts of a flower. Number 3. Identify male and female flowers. Number 4. Explain the process of pollination. Number 5. Describe the importance of crop pollination. Number 6. Discuss role of honeybees in enhancing crop productivity through pollination. And number 7. Plan for managing honeybee colonies for pollination of crops. So let's start. Structure of flower and its components. Various parts of flower include petals, calyx, stamen, and ovary. Petals mostly are of bright colors. Stamens are the male part of the flower and bear anthers on their tips. These anthers contain pollen which is released during pollen dehiscence. Female part of a flower contains ovary at the base and stigma at the tip of style. Process of transfer of pollen from male part of flower to the female reproductive organ of a plant to enable its fertilization is known as pollination process. There are two types of pollination process, self-pollination and cross-pollination, as you can see in the picture. Honeybees as the best pollinators. Number 1. Visit the flowers purposely to gather pollen. Number 2. High floral constancy. Number 3. Profusely hairy body. Number 4. Easily amenable. Number 5. Non pest of crops. Number 6. Bee pollination enhances maturity, yield, and quality of produce. Number 7. Require least manual labor. And number 8. Honey bees also provide other useful products. Management of honey bee colonies for crop pollination. The efficiency of honey bee as pollinators can further be augmented by adopting following planned bee pollination practices. Number 1. Provision of space. Provide sufficient number of empty combs to cope up 
with increased brood rearing and honey and pollen stores this will encourage bees to rear more brood and thereby forage by bees number 2 prepare colonies for pollination service first prepare strong colonies that is 8 to 9 comb with enough brood for pollination service as these colonies will have more proportion of foraging bees than a weak colony second provide sufficient unsealed brood to create more demand for pollen within the colonies third maintain higher brood b ratio to stimulates greater proportion of foragers fourth ensure young prolific queen in the colonies in order to have more numbers of eggs daily which in turn will improve brood rearing it is always advisable to use slightly more number of honey bee colonies than estimated one generally 2 to 5 colonies for horticultural crops except 6 to 5 for apple pollination and 5 colonies for alfalfa that is medicago sativa are recommended number 3 moving colonies to the crop first extract honey before moving colonies to the target crop second move colonies when crop has initiated 10 to 25% blooming to attract more foragers on the target crop third move colonies to the crop at night so that bees mark their hives afresh in the next morning and find flowers loaded with reward fourth save colonies from heating up fifth don't move for more than 48 hours at a stretch sixth take measure to check drifting at new site number 4 number of colonies required it depends on the following first pollination requirement of the crop second target area third as per attractiveness of the crop to honey bees the number of colonies required may vary fourth consider competing crops in the area so that suitable measures may be taken accordingly fifth competing insect pollinators sixth foraging behavior of bees will also affect the contribution made by the migrated honey bee colonies towards sea or fruit yield enhancement seventh calculate the cost of obtaining honey bee colonies and estimated profit expected it is always advisable to use slightly more number of honey bee colonies 
then estimated one. Generally, two to five colonies for horticultural crops, except six to eight for apple pollination, and five colonies for alfalfa are recommended. Number five. Placement of honey bee colonies. Place the colonies near the crop. It results in more number of trips of the pollinating bee per unit time. Distribution of honey bee colonies in the target crop depends on the following. A. Nectar pollen available per unit area. B. Weather conditions and physical features of area. C. Place colonies singly or in groups separated by appropriate distances. Example, one colony by 0 0.4 hectare for apple or 5 colonies in the center of 2 hectare orchard. D. Bees should fly out against the wind and return in the direction of wind. Number 6. Increase pollen gatherers proportion. Add comb with more unsealed brood and reduce pollen stores by removing extra pollen comb from the colonies. Installation of pollen traps on the colonies intermittently increases the pollen requirement of honey bee colonies. Placing empty comb box below brood chamber and feeding sugar syrup also increases the proportion of pollen foragers in the honey bee colony. Number 7. Increase bee foraging and crop attractiveness. A. Add scent of flowers target crop to sugar syrup. Conditioning scent of crop to bees by immersing crop flower in sugar syrup. To increase foraging of bees on the target crop. B. Use sugar solution, jaggery and synthetic pheromones sprays on the crop to attract higher populations of honey bees to the target crop. Number 8. Managing honey bees for hybrid seed production. Use of male sterile lines for hybrid seed production is the latest technology over time consuming conventional method of emasculation and hand pollination. However, the male sterile lines, female lines, because of less pollen availability are less attractive to the bees. Increasing grow ratios of male sterile lines to female fertile lines may compensate differential attractiveness of parental lines thereby increase the pollination and hybrid seed production. A synchronization of flowering in male sterile, female and male fertile lines is another problem in hybrid seed production. To overcome this problem, alter sowing times 
of different lines and the top the plants of early blooming line increasing pollinators population that is number of colonies will also help in solving these two problems to some extent in the next unit we will make you understand about handling beekeeping system and beekeeping equipment.